In this tutorial, we will learn how to make such a text animation. You can use it for example to reveal some quotes or some things you would like to say and communicate in a nice fashion. Hey there, I'm excited to present you another great tutorial regarding shape layers. We can start immediately by going into After Effects and having our composition open. I'll open as well my title action save and I press Ctrl or Command R to open up the rulers and I pick some guides, maybe one on the left title action save place and one on the right side and I can start working. I'll move my playhead to around 15 frames and this will be where my first line should be appearing in the middle of the screen. By pressing the left alt or option key on Mac, drag a line to about this size. I press P because it should be positioned a little bit lower. Okay, something like that. I pick the shape and I see I have a big stroke. I didn't want to have a stroke, so I get rid of the stroke and I make it a white fill. Okay, a white fill is very nice. Now I'll open up the shape layer, my contents, rectangle and my pad because we'll work a lot with the pad. I'll set the keyframe here where it's extended and I'll go to the first frame because on the first frame I want it to be really small. Now click on the pad, go a bit closer and we want to make it smaller. So I'll double click here until such icons appear and I'll make it completely small to the left side. Like this. Okay, this is my very first animation. While this all happens, I would like the first text to appear. So I select a rectangle tool because I want to mask it out and it will be here on the top side. Don't bother about the color and about the size. It should be around here. It will be only a mat for the text. Okay, it's a bit hardly visible, so let me quickly make it red. All right, I go for the text and I enter my first line. I've selected some really cheesy quote. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. So I will select the first text. Maybe the best preparation will be our first line and I'll place it here. We can work around with the font, but let's stay with Bebas right now because we don't want to waste time on it. I place it as the second one and I select track mat. If you don't see it, please open up the track mat as the second option here. Track mat, alpha mat, mat. All right, what happens now? I can select the text, press position on the text, move the playhead right about when the line starts to appear, select the text to go under the line, keyframe, and here both the line and the text should be visible. So I place the text above the line and it will appear from under here. Boom. And we have our first animation. Let me select my next text, which was for tomorrow. Yeah, this should be okay. Once again, text tool, place the text here and it will be here in the middle. I can also go to align and place it perfectly in the middle. Also, this should be perfectly in the middle. Okay. For tomorrow and for tomorrow will not be visible. Let me close some things will not be visible until this moment. So I make it smaller and I can work further with my morphing. I select my pad and I'll try to resize it. You don't want these white icons to appear. You want to double click maybe in the corner. So the resizing options appears. Now I can resize it towards the bottom. A new keyframe appears and I press page down maybe five times. So I'm at one second and five frames and I make it also smaller from the top side. So it reveals the text. This should look something like that. Okay. Let me preview the animation if everything works fine. Well, the motion isn't as cool for now, but it starts to look interesting. Right click in the timeline, press new and select camera. The basic camera will be okay with the angle of view about 50 degrees and my focal length to 33 millimeters. All right. Of course, the layers should be 3D layers now. And we can have some fun with the camera. To make the work easier for us, 
either link it to a new nil object, press new nil object, and then the camera should be parented to the nil object. This makes editing a lot easier. Ok, make the nil object 3D of course, press P and we can have some fun with the position. Right when this animation finished, the camera should start moving. I place a keyframe here, I have a keyframe here, and a few seconds forward, maybe a few frames only will be enough, the camera should move backwards. I'll place it at negative 1200, and also this line is now too small. So you should select this line by double clicking it, double clicking once again to make it resized, and by holding the left control key, I resize it to extend it, for example, to the first lines. The text is now a little bit small, but I'll think I will stick with it. Okay, for tomorrow, to the right side a bit. Is this okay? We have a nice little camera motion. I will select a new point now, a bit further, maybe at 2 seconds and uh, 5 frames. Okay, 2 seconds and 5 frames, and the camera will also move up to about 830 in the position value. This is my animation right now. It goes back and towards the top and we can continue with our animations. Just as this started to happening, I would like to duplicate my line. Let me quickly rename it line, control D to duplicate it and I have two lines. This line will start here. You can press Alt and the left bracket key to delete everything on the left. I'll press U to show my keyframes. Maybe those keyframes can be deleted. I select a new path. And at first, I also press Shift P to open up the position. And this line will go towards the bottom. I press a position keyframe here. As seconds pass, the position of this line should go towards the bottom. Somewhere around here. Maybe. 1300, so it's really close, or 1200, so it's not so much. This space will be enough. Now let's preview the animation. Ok, and as this line goes down, a text should be revealed from this place. In this case, we will only work with a mask. As it's revealed, the mask will also reveal itself. Let me select the rest of the quote. Is today. Ok, I have the quote. Text tool new text is doing your your best today okay like that let me quickly adjust the text i center it i make the second line much bigger i select it sorry i'm being a bit sloppy here the second text bigger now maybe the lines are a bit too wide this should be right i have my text i place it as the last one and watch what i'll do now by having the text selected, I select my rectangle tool and the rectangle tool will be here. This will be my mask. The mask can be opened and it has also a pad. So you see how much morphing is possible to be done in After Effects. At this place, the mask is big as that, but at this place, the mask should be a lot smaller. The mask should be small like this and once the lines expand, also the mask will automatically expand. You see, I'm a bit sloppy here. Again, I come closer. I want to change the mask. Maybe it will be easier here. Okay. Can I check it? Yeah, the mask is a bit too big and it's creating some problems. Let's make it like that. And now it should be a bit better. Well, it still isn't perfect. Well, I'm really bad today with this mask. Let's make it smaller. Now it has to be okay. Now watch. Of course, again, a little mistake. This should be cropped out so it isn't visible until now. And let us preview our entire animation. We reveal the text and we reveal also the bottom text. Now we could make some adjustments, but I don't want to take more of your time by doing this tutorial. We should make the keyframes a bit more east. I can make this really quick. This won't be a perfect solution, but I'll select all keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and I'll ease them in. Now I should go 
and adjust the motion of each layer separately and maybe of the text I should replace the text somewhere but basically I wanted to show you how you can reveal some text with a nice motion like that. Afterwards the white line could get bigger once again and then it would disappear from the entire screen. Now this is completely up to you. This is the basic of our animation and how the animation flies in and gets to the screen. These are very simple techniques but they are very useful and very effective when you are working in After Effects. Thanks for listening and see ya!